2014. How crazy is that? I can't believe that this year is coming to a close. So in today's video, I'm showing you how I did this New Year's Eve makeup look, and then I'm also doing a quick DIY memory jar. Uh, it's just a really simple, easy, five-minute DIY, but it's something that I wanted to share with you. So let's get to it. I'm starting off by priming my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly, and then I'm going to go in with this brown shimmery shadow on a flat shader brush and apply that all over my lid as a base for our eyeshadows. Next, I'm going in with a purple shimmery shadow and applying that over top of where we applied the brown color just to bring a little bit more color and depth into the eye. Now to continue adding depth, I'm taking this silver color on a big fluffy brush and applying that into the crease area of my eye. And now I'm taking an even darker silver color on the same brush and applying that to my outer corner and also into the crease to add more dimension. I'm going to take that same gray color that we just used on a brush and apply that to my upper and lower lash line. Just to add a little bit of definition to our eyes. We're also going to be applying eyeliner up top, so that's not quite as important, but make sure you really add some definition down below. And now I'm taking my black gel liner on an angled brush and doing my normal winged eyeliner. I do a little bit of a bigger wing than normal just because it's New Year's Eve, so I sort of can. It's time to have a little bit of fun with our makeup since it is New Year's Eve and no one will really judge you for having a little bit more of dramatic makeup on your side. And now I'm going to finish off the eyes with some mascara. I'm using my Maybelline The Rocket Mascara and then going in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Definitely use fake lashes if you want. New Year's is totally an excuse to try out fake lashes if you're interested in that. For my cheeks, I'm just applying a light pink blush to add a nice light flush to my face. Nothing special. I just wanted to keep it sort of bare. And I'm going to fill in my eyebrows now using a brown eyeshadow just like I normally would. And as for my lips, I am opting for a tinted lip balm. I like this because it's super easy to reapply without a mirror and it keeps your lips nice and soft. And also it's not a bright color which can be sort of intimidating for that New Year's kiss that all of us want so badly. And with all of that, that is our completed look. I love this look because it's so dramatic in the eyes, but everything else is really played down and simple, so you don't look too overdone or unapproachable. I just think that this is an absolutely beautiful look for New Year's Eve. And now on to our DIY memory jar. This is super easy. You're just going to start by printing out whatever you want your jar to say. Mine said lovely things from 2015. And now I'm just using some Mod Podge and brushing onto the back of the piece of paper and putting it down where I want it. And once I have it down where I want it, I am brushing Mod Podge on top of that to seal it into place. And I'm going to repeat these same steps with all of the words until they are all in place exactly where I want them. And once you have all of that taken care of, you're going to start brushing Mod Podge across the entirety of the jar, obviously one side at a time. And then you're going to sprinkle glitter on top of the Mod Podge just to add a nice shimmery, pretty effect. I love this because Mod Podge dries clear, so it's just going to look like you have a gorgeous glittery mason jar on your hands. Once you are finished glittering your jar, you're going to set it aside to dry for about an hour. In the meantime, you can go in and start writing down some memories. Obviously, since 2015 hasn't started yet, the only memory I'm going to have is spending New Year's with my best friends. So I wrote that down and I folded it up and then you can throw it into the jar as soon as it's dry. Once your mason jar is finished drying, it's going to look like this. I think this came out so pretty. It's the easiest DIY ever. You can go ahead and throw your memories in there and then at the end of the year you have the opportunity to look back at all of the happy and amazing times you had during that past year. And that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. 
And also don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias. All of that will be linked down in the description. I love you guys so much and I hope you have a fantastic New Year's. Bye! Clean this confetti up. It's everywhere.